Man, isn't it great to be celebrating Halloween one day later than everybody else with a lame special that's only just me rewatching a thing that I re that I watched for the first time a year ago? And it's not actually a blind reaction. It's just me basically just watching this thing again after like a year. Isn't 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 that nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. Me 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 too, buddy. Me too. Oh man, it's been quite a while. Oh jeez, have candy with me. Oh, this like oh. Again, this is one of those one of my first unique experiences when it comes to this fandom. It's like oh man, because this one was this one hits so hard. I remember just like during the ending when you know Scootaloo. I'm just screaming. I'm just like go 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 go. Just mm. I'm gonna die. Well, actually, you know what? I'm already dying. So. Let's get this party started. Southern Lost Nightmare. Number one. Hamster Muffin. There's long been rumors as to how exactly rainbows are made in Equestria. <laughs> While a great amount of Pegasi ponies are employed at the rainbow department of the Weather Factory, but almost you don't want all to of them do low end no. work. What's known is that the great streams of spectra, the individual colors man, of the rainbow, the flow through large grates and into vast vats. Ooh. From there, workers carefully and equally mix the spectra into coagulated rainbow pools that mix and run through the factory and surrounding cities. Next, the mixture is pumped into the floor below, where the other employees atomize it and store it until the active weather pegasi deploy it into flame. Atomize it. However, no one knows how individual spectra is made. Supplies are never seen being brought in, leaving not even like a the, single the clue the as candy. to what goes into a rainbow. Tourists, when visiting the factory, are treated to an extremely foreboding and plain wall, with massive solid doors barring entry to any pony at, at any time. While most of the facility's various signs and architecture are bubbly and welcoming, the Rainbow Factory's Twizzler. upper floor was protected by harsh Ooh, imagery like a... of potential hazards. Hey, that's not a Twizzler, that's a and sour the cloud punch wall Twizzler. was made not out of the clean white of the rest Damn of the it. city, but of black, quietly thundering fog. To become an employee of the upper Rainbow Factory means sacrificing any life outside of those black walls. Workers were sworn to secrecy uh, and forbidden uh. from leaving and live inside the facility itself. Those few who managed to make it out not in a body bag were twisted and disturbed, too damaged Rainbow to dash. even bring themselves to talk about it. A lot of theories were proposed. Dark magic- Oh yeah, by the way, if you're watching this and you have never seen Rainbow Factory before, what are you? Like, actually, what are you? Are you st what? And two, and don't watch this. You're gonna get spoiled. Better the best to go. Watch it now. Just do it, please. It's so good. Magic Hello? from captured Thank unicorns, you. chemicals, and environmental hazards that no sane pony would tolerate, and even thoughts of another unknown sister of Celestia's, destined to create spectra instead of raise the sun or moon. I'm the sister None of, of Celestia. Could be farther from the truth. I don't remember that. Woo! The Rainbow Factory! Yay! Time Come to get on, scared. Ryan. We're gonna be late for our final test! <laughs> Scootaloo called to a friend of hers. Oh, man. It's she was test. older now, in her last year of flight school. Oh, she, man. like all the other Pegasi in the school, were terribly nervous about oh, the final test. Those that passed were granted freedom into the world to find oh, out man, cutie marks with, like, if they had it yet man. and become worker ponies. A little known, or at least a little thought about fact was what happened to the fillies that failed their test. <laughs> well, uncommon, one or two from every know. class generally didn't have it in them to perform the vigorous acts and maneuvers. Those that failed their test were looked down upon oh, sorry, in the worst I'm ways. Oh, sorry, am I making with my rapper? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Cloudsdale was always yeah. bred in a form of nationalism ah. among its occupants. If you weren't the best and didn't show the potential of being the greatest, you weren't allowed to be part of the glorious collective. Scootaloo moved a little to the side as Orion, a tall yet fairly skinny pony, settled next to her. He fluffed Orion, his light brown feathers man. and gave a worried attempt at a smile 
as he stared around where he sat. Are you they doing, were sitting in a large open waiting room, it's been a while. unlooking the Colosseum, Crocodile. with all the other graduating Pegasi. Just visible in the distance was the factory. Orion glanced at it and gulped. What's the matter, Orion? We better be scared. Are you afraid of getting a dead end job on the snow line? <laughs> Orion chuckled a bit, oh, then closed his eyes and sighed. Dramatic irony. No, I just, I don't know. I don't think I can do this. I actually, know what that word what means I now. Fail? Okay. What if I don't fail, but do just bad enough that everyone still hates me? I don't know if I can take being deported. Where do we even deported. go, anyways? Scootaloo gave Orion you a You don't want to know. No one knows you don't, and we're not going to fail. Everyone here is going you to You are fine. going to fail. I know I will at least pass. Oh, dramatic <laughs> irony. tips from Rainbow Dash, I'm sure to be fine. Oh, yeah, sure. That reassures me. That's actually just as, if not even more reassuring, than the psychopathic hate that every pony here seems to love to spread. Quit panicking, scaredy wings. Scootaloo replied. See, if I took that test, only not only would I immediately fail. fail, is that oh yellow God. pony with the dark green mane. She's the one who- Oh my god, oh my- I don't even know if you guys heard that, but like, dude. It's like, damn, that's- oh my- oh. My heart. I haven't even gotten to the scary part yet, and my heart's already just about to die, but like, I forgot what I was gonna say. Who was out test. Sick for that if I was gonna month, take you know? the test, I would immediately oh, yeah. fail, and it would be the most stressful Orion test of my life. As he craned his neck at the other pony's direction. It would beat my driving One test. that band case of wolf and wing. You look pretty confident, though. I suppose we'll see. Fun fact: I was actually supposed Scootaloo to fail trailed, my driving test, but turning to look at the factory I got pretty done. Herself. I got spared. It gave her chills. No Not thugs. Fear, but pride. I hope I get some cool active weather job. Can you imagine? Everyone in Ponyville or Philadelphia staring up at me. The there goes Scootaloo, such an amazing flyer, and from Cloudsdale. There can be no doubt. Oh, this is so hard she to get smiled that milk in done. excitement, forgetting her tension for the moment. Why did I that only get three milk duds? Mind you, just coming from Cloudsdale, who wouldn't what be the heck? Awe? Exactly. Praise the flock. Praise the flock. Praise the flock. Places, places every pony. A massive buff Pegasus walked towards the entrance of the Coliseum. We're going to do this by name. Your educators are on the east side of the field. Do not, I repeat, do not fly too far west. If they lose sight of you for any reason, you'll be failed immediately. Oh, Take God. deep breaths, stretch your wings one last time. The oh. test will consist of three sections. Weather clearing, agility, and finally recovery. Clear the clouds, for more reasons, fly through the hoops, and then this. fly to the marked elevation. Close your wings for at Come least three on, seconds. Come on, you know you want to get out of the fail. box. But keep in mind, there's okay. no extra points for extra seconds. Thank you. Finally, recover before you hit the cloud floor. Understood? No. Any questions? Yeah. The instructor paused and carefully glanced at every single pony in the room. Everyone's eyes were completely focused on him, and none were creased with confusion. All right. Aurora Dawn. You're up first. Aurora, Dawn. Ball complete. <laughs> a yellow pony nodded and walked quickly up the starting ramp with purpose. Actually, she stared at the huh. watching judges, waiting for a nod from all three, Actually and then took name. off with powerful force. The ramp bounced slightly from the force of the takeoff. Every pony watched as Aurora quickly reached the starting altitude and then began the direct and purposeful attack on the positioned clouds. With expert timing and intelligent angles, the sky was soon empty Kinda off of topic, any moisture. Off topic here. Scootaloo and Orion like, watched Orion with open mouth. to me in this picture is always as they watched off for some the first reason. test team with fast and this tight turns, off. expertly shooting dead like center to each kind of and every hoop. Finally, Aurora pulled herself up with proper altitude, hovered, and closed her wings. The group gasped as she started planting. <laughs> down towards the clouds oh, and counted right. breathlessly. One, two, three. They sighed as they watched her wings open at the correct amount of time, correctly oh. holding that relief. Suddenly, Aurora's wings whipped forward and the group of students flinched in horror as they heard a loud, hollow snap. 
That's only right. to be suddenly oh, replaced by you. an Do unending four piercing milk scream. Was it two? Many, I like got two milk dogs. Shielded their what? eyes with their wings, did... as others, like Scooby, could only watch, terrified. I got two milk dogs out of one box. How is that really? As the blur of yellow, green, box? and red How is that really? into the cloud with a dull thud. Scam. Wasting no time, the instructor Damn. walked forwards again, as the three judges simply pointed down and started that. shuffling papers around. Actually, upset. speaking loudly as if nothing had happened, he called out again. Daisy Fields, clear, fly, fall, complete. Scootaloo and Orion stared slack-jawed as the other pony gulped, then walked forward onto the path and took off. They turned back to the tuff on the cloud where Aurora had landed and stared. As the wind blew the fragments that were thrown up from the collision away, oh, they man, saw I can't a shivering yellow body Dash. attempting to move, only to collapse with a cry. Faraday spots, clear, fly, fall, complete. Your Aurora fly, still struggled fall, to walk, flee. wailing with every step. Her legs weren't broken, she could still use them fine, but it was obvious the pain from her wing joints and the loss of her potential life was crushing her. Scootaloo felt Orion shuffle uneasily, tears welling in his eyes as a frown formed on his face. Holiday shine. It'll be okay. Clear, fly, fall, complete. Because since we're uh, not related, it'll be going okay. To help her? Orion seethed through clothed teeth. Scootaloo felt extremely sad for the yellow pegasus, but couldn't see herself helping her. She oh, would I can see, her, see you and sent away, her. far away from Cloudsdale and any familiar place on Equestria, to a place where she or any other failed students could never stain Cloudsdale's reputation. It was a terrible hmm. shame, but Scootaloo could More than a herself. shame. She couldn't fail her friends, and she definitely couldn't fail Rainbow Dash. Not after the care and the help <laughs> she had given Scootaloo's whole life. Scootaloo blinked the tears from her eyes and forced herself to watch the completing students. One after another took off, successfully passed the test, kind of and flew water. to the east gate under the judge's spots in the stands. Right That's all Scootaloo focused on. Pass the test, fly to the gate, live a happy life. Live a happy Ryan life. Solstice. All I hear. fly, fall, complete. No. What? Alright, my man. Use your flight test. Get man, out all right, there before you piss the judges off. No, don't, don't even pretend to care about my future if you don't care about hers. You say you want me to get a good life, and yet you let the men suffer unbearable pain. Get no, this the is a fuck Ryan. onto that field before <sighs> I fail you myself. Oh damn, I didn't fuck. remember cursing. <laughs> Orion spoke sharply before walking onto the ramp. He stared at the damn, judges, we're like, damn, waiting right. for the individual nods. And the second they came, he took Whoa. off. God, However, why did, why did the before the starting altitude, he turned oh sharply and landed gently next to Aurora. She turned and looked at him, blood running down her forehead and sides, the tears streaming down her face. What, Dude, I feel what so bad doing? for her. You'll fail like me. You'll be exiled. Give her a hug. I'd rather be exiled from a place that treats ponies like this. Rather than live my whole life while others don't live theirs. Aurora smiled. Well, Ryan, happiness you're, you're briefly replacing her sadness anyway, so. and her blackened puffy eyes. Until she stumbled again, an intense pain flashed across her body. Orion leaned in close, using his wing to brace the yellow pony against himself. He stared up at the judges, beaming hate in his vision. He <laughs> stared down, Get unaffected, smoked, idiots. and simply pointed down before looking back towards the ramp Get for the next scrubbed. contestant. Scootaloo stood shocked, hardly hearing her name called. She moved numbly up the ramp, oh, no. never that's, taking yeah, her right. eyes off yeah. of her fight. I remember why. And the pony he sacrificed himself for to help. Oh, I, I remember After why Scootaloo moment, fails. She shook her head, recovered her thoughts, and looked at the judges. Recover your thoughts better. Her head. Shake your head she even more. them all nod. Oh, great. What do I do? I can't let everyone I know down, but I'll never see Orion again. I hope he knew that. Oh, let it die. He did that. I'm sure he's thinking the same right now. She glanced at Orion. He wasn't looking at her. Instinct kicked in 
as the familiar rush of wind I can't flip in my dough I can't her thoughts away. I can't flip and milk she the stopped box at the right with only my mouth and then launched can't do again it. sensing and seeing every cloud no nope, formulating can't do it. a game plan in the matter of a couple dozen seconds <clears throat> the sky was clear she did a quick Sweet. loop in midair aiming for the first hoop with the powerful flash of her wings, she propelled I want you to herself not forward suck. to the first ring, and the second one. You know, I just thought of something. I wonder who the judges were. Because the judges are clearly part of this, and the judges have like this kind of like this dark, mysterious aura around them. So like, who were the judges? It's a mystery that was never solved. Who are the judges? And the third one, expertly turning and drifting. She curved in towards the second last ring, near the bottom of the field. As she descended, she caught sight of Orion and Aurora, almost at the west gate now. Orion turned his head and smiled weakly. Scootaloo's <laughs> focus shattered. Orion knew what he did. He cared about her, he'd miss her, and he'd never get to say goodbye. <laughs> Scootaloo cranked into the lower part of the ring. I mean, you're not wrong. He will not get hitting to say the ground. goodbye. With a sudden, intense flash of fear, she flipped herself onto her feet and began flapping her wings, elevating go, go, off go, the ground. Go, 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 this shouldn't have happened. It really wasn't right. None of it. Orion should have passed his test and cheered her on from the east gate. She shouldn't have looked at him. She should have just focused on flying. God, that just breaks but my heart. There is oh. no room for excuses. Oh, I feel Defeated, the dread. I already she feel the Metroid hovered towards dread Orion in my body. And settled down next to him. She looked at him through her purple eyes. <laughs> he looked back, offering a smile. You did a good job. Scootaloo dropped her you head did a and good sobbed. Job. She then walked around what Orion, lifted a wing of her own, and helped Aurora walk to the west gate. Nah. Before them stood a long, unlit hall, with only a cheap sign stuck to the wall, notifying test failies to proceed down the hall. They waited, only briefly, to gather themselves and prepare for what where they would be taken, <coughs> and then all what stepped forward together. <laughs> Against an empty carriage at the end of the lonely hall were three imposing ponies, leaning in a disinterest and bored pose. One of them happened this to look up the as the sorry-looking oh trio God, stumbled out speak. into the open. They were on the bottom edge of the Colosseum. I remember with the this vast picture. Rolling hills and I remember of this drawing. Visible far below. Hey, boss. We got some dim worthless Pegasus. Oh the first yeah, one I remember to an this even bigger scene. pony on the other side. I remember of the this carriage. scene very vividly. I suppose it's get to work time, is it? Cool and hot shot. There may be more too. Hot shot. No. Don't you mean big I shot? The last didn't to go. Scootaloo spoke in sobs. Orion could only hang his head. It... it's... She paused, and then breathed deeply, determined to remain as strong as she could. It's just us three. Aurora's Th If there's three of us, there's three of us. There's three of us. <laughs> Ain't that just Bruh. a crying shame it is. What's it to us? All the better she don't come flying back to us no more. We may have failed our damn test, but that doesn't mean we're not worth keeping alive! Yep. Scootaloo shouted in a flash of rage. Amen. She was determined to hold on to as much dignity as she could. All right, all right, sheesh. Hey, Patches, doctor her up before we head out. Patches. I want blood on them seats. I just washed that thing. The other two, in the cart. Orion yeah, the and Scootaloo courtesy hopped to wash the, the seat? and got wow. as comfortable as they could on the hard seats, but made sure to leave room for Aurora. As soon as the third of the large ponies finished bandaging her wing, Aurora carefully stepped into the vehicle and laid down on the bench in the back. Scootaloo inched closer to her and leaned down to talk as the door to the carriage slammed shut. I the feel so bad for the nice back, dude. Standing by the door, watching each of them. So... Scootaloo began quietly, trying not to speak too loud. You're Aurora? 
I'm Scootaloo. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. Any meeting of a friend is a welcome meeting. Aurora spoke gently, nice. with sincerity in her eyes. Uh, we did our best. So That's all we can say. That's all any of us can say. Who's to say that the city of the deported isn't a good one anyways? The thought struck Scootaloo as she considered it. No pony was told where the Pegasi were brought. Most ponies considered it to be some odd land, like where the zebras hailed from, and made Scootaloo realize something even more profound. Hey, if where so. we're taken is where the core is from, then there's gotta be a way to get back. It's not as if we're banned from Equestria. I and mean... Shy, an old friend of mine, she's a Pegasus who lives in Ponyville. She never passed fight school. She never even took her test. They've never come and taken her away. Exactly. Interesting. Actually, that's Aurora an interesting agreed point with there. A nod. That's an interesting point. Yeah, why didn't... Huh. Yeah, interesting. Orion overheard Quite and offered his thoughts. I think the reason we're sent so far away... Penny for no your thoughts. ...because no from Cloudsdale ever wants to admit that someone who failed the flight school could come from their city. What a fucking horrible place. Now that I think thoughts. about it, I never want to go back. Maybe that's why no walking, Pegasus ever comes back. They just don't like Cloudsdale. You goddamn worthless ponies can hardly call yourself Pegasus. Boss spoke from the door. He was swaying ever so slightly as the carriage was Shut lifted your and moved to an unknown location. Me. Useless failures is what you are. No pony comes back from exile, <clears throat> regardless of reason. Can't even pass your goddamn test. You three make me sick. Scootaloo jumped up from her seat, your damn lifted herself into the air with her wings, milk. and dove legs first at Boss. You shut the hell up about us! Yeah, Boss hey, raised buddy. his hook and backhanded Scootaloo out of the air, onto the oh. floor. I can treat Hello? you however I want. You hardly classify as ponies to Cloudsdale. Or any of a question. Three fifths of a pony. Sit the fuck I learned, down I learned that in history class. Destination. Where are we being history. taken anyways? Not like we can tell anyone now. And I'm sure it's the delivery guys. You should know. Hell if I know. We hand this carriage <laughs> off to ponies in suits and we get a bag full of coins to keep quiet about the whole thing. That's how it's always been. For a thousand years. The three fillies huddled together. Scared of the unknown. They kept Into quiet the, uh, no. the unbearable trip, all lost in their own thoughts. Friends, family, loved ones, and pets. All will never see them again, and some would never find out why. An hour passed, and then Bonk. another. Finally, the uncomfortable quiet was broken by the sudden lurch of the carriage stopping You guys stopping should probably sleep. Ah, uh, well, there's my stop. You ponies play nice now. Have fun in wherever the hell you're sent to. The carriage door shuffled open, and Boss hopped out with a gust of cold wind. Bye. It was night outside now. With hardly any light to be seen at all, Scootaloo stared outside and noticed another figure staring in. It was dressed in all black. Its tail dyed an unnatural black oh. that never occurred in nature. Its face was covered in a black, loose-fitting mask. I think I know who mane. you are. All that was visible were rose-colored eyes, oh. staring indifferently at the three oh, ponies inside. I know who you are. <laughs> they stopped on screen <laughs> momentarily, unrecognizing, but she stared back. A second passed. Oh. The dark pony slammed the door shut, and the carriage took off <laughs> once again. Oh, At least no. we can talk now. Aurora whispered in the dark. But they had nothing to talk about. Dramatic irony is a powerful thing. The carriage finally stuttered to a stop. The three desolate foals blinked their eyes awake, having all resolved to conserve energy for whatever came next. With a loud scraping noise, the door shook. And then swung wide open. Shooka, 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 shooka. Several more ponies, obscured by masks and suits, were moving around the area. Scootaloo blinked against the light from what she was seeing. They were in a cloud building. As her eyes adjusted, she noticed more details. Several of the blackened ponies were rushing around, some holding clipboards, 
some carrying briefcases ah, and other important the looking items on their backs. Oh, the complex was full of machinery and signs. Machinery. Pipes ran along the ceiling, and a loud humming ran in the background, occasionally joined by other industrial sounds, Can't with the such ominous. as crashes or alarms. Scootaloo gas. Picture of the the clouds, the place. rainbow factory. The architecture, it's all so familiar. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think it's we're yeah. In the weather factory. Don't you mean the right rainbow from. factory? That can't be right. We were traveling for way too long. We've got to be far away from Equestria now, not to mention the city. Actually, Scootaloo may be right. I noticed. It was maybe the same amount of time from when we left the Coliseum to the place the carriage driver swapped that it was from the swap place to here. But... I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe that's just a coincidence. Welcome, mules. A large Welcome and to powerful your voice hell. Several of the suited ponies moved to make way for the deep, <clears throat> dark red Pegasus. I don't know about you, but I'm finding hell pretty entertaining. You degenerates are probably wondering where exactly you are. Stupid fillies, you're in Cloudsdale! The rainbow facility Stupid. can be correct. Allow me to show you around. What's going on here? Do you expect to use us as slaves? Because I'd rather be yeah. deported! Scootaloo yelled. Well, you Orion technically have Aurora been deported just to hell. got off their seats and stood behind Scootaloo, nodding in agreement. Like your failures have a choice. You'll be here for the rest of your lives. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I am Dr. Atmosphere. My degree is a medical Atmosphere. one. I shall reassure you in case you're picturing some dreadful surgery going on behind the scenes. Strange how so many worthless Pegasus get that idea. No, no, my degree is Dr. in engineering. Medical School is better I won the than four you, Dr. Atmosphere. I'm sure you've all had a tour of the lower factory, no? The three ponies slowly nodded, unsure what was going on. Excellent! Who can tell me where the tour begins? Excellent! Orion spoke up first. Where the spectra comes from upstairs and is mixed. Very good! What a pity you're utterly useless to the flock. You could have been a smart one. Dr. Atmosphere smiled I'm sadistically smack you. and patted Orion on the head. But today we're on the upper floor. Please follow me. And don't get too far behind, or one of my helpers will be forced to encourage you. With Help that, me even more he with, 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 with a stabby electrical material. Oh my god. With <laughs> nods, three of them at the rear leaned forward and jabbed each of the Pegasus with tasers, my gosh, shocking them Jeez. to the ground. Dr. Atmosphere whinnied in laughter as they all yelped and fell, and continued with a soft chuckle as they all stood up again. Scootaloo blinked more tears from her eyes and stood <clears throat> herself up again, trying to lose the tingling in her nerves. She turned and quickly looked at each of the suited ponies, catching each one of them in the eye when she could. None of them were the rose-eyed pony from the carriage. Begrudgingly, uh, she started walking behind the red engineer. You simply must be careful in this department. Dr. Atmosphere careful, again in a tour, careful. Simply not unlike must be the many careful, other huh? tour guides in the lower you floors. Think, buddy? There's plenty of nooks and crannies and vents and vats. One could fall into. Years that could crush One must instincts. be careful not to hurt themselves. After all, you're all hopeless as it is. Any more so, and even we couldn't use you. He glanced behind himself maliciously as the three foals frowned in insult. They were walking down a series of hallways with vibrating machines and assembly lines lining the way, occasionally ducking under a low-hanging wire I can and carefully stepping good. over steaming pipes. As they walked, though, the building became cooler and cooler. All three were watching, sensing, looking for any way out. They couldn't see any. No. Let me tell you a story. Ooh, Cloudsdale is where the weather is made. Without us, the rest of Equestria would starve, freeze, drown, and generally be a not very happy place. That gives us a special honor. One that cannot be tainted by... Uh, incompetent folks. You. Like, how could the world look up and trust us if Pegasi like you are flying you. around wearing the Cloudsdale name? No. We needed to do something with all of you, and then Ew. we got a delicious idea one day. Del 
over a thousand years ago. Quite a delicious idea. Those were smart idea. ponies back then, I'll say. You don't find too many of them these days. <laughs> but I digress. I'm smart. Here, now, through these doors. Quickly now. More encouragement is supplied. Dr. Atmosphere opened the heavy-looking door in the cramped corridor and offered a hoof inside. Scootaloo stared up at him. Come right in, come he glanced in, come in. at a suited pony. Shall Scootaloo and the others coat? walked inside as he laughed again. Enjoy the rest of your pitiful life. Can I stop getting... S oh my god. And with that, he slammed the door closed. They all turned and looked at the big room where they had been led to. It was fairly... Sweet. Big room. That's where we're gonna leave it off. See you next time on Dragon Button. I'm not gonna make that joke.